Hi guys, how are you doing? Hope you're having a great day. Today, I'll be covering uh, a really, really essential tool, which is portfolio trackers or wallet trackers. And if you're not using one of these already, then you absolutely should be. And if you are using one already, you might learn a thing or two, some tricks here, just by watching this video. Uh, I think these are one of the most essential tools uh, to get better at DeFi is using one of these. And today I'm gonna to talk you through Zapper. We're gonna be looking at DBank and we'll also look at Zirion. And I think these are the three biggest that I'm aware of portfolio tracking tools out there today. All of them are free. It doesn't cost anything to use these. And they all have, no, well, none of them have token, tokens yet, to my knowledge. I think they all are candidates for potential airdrops, which is always nice. Um, and all of them have uh, essentially slightly different options, slightly different user interfaces. And I, I just rotate between using these. I would say of the three of these, I use Zapper and DBank the most. If I had to pick a favorite right now, it's probably DBank, but that could change because, hey, this is DeFi and things change really fast, right? So um, what I'm looking for in one of these wallets is that um, it's actually picking up all of the chains, right? And, and so and all of the transactions and then it's not broken like right right now the sort of history feature in zapper is broken i don't know why it was working yesterday so anyway uh is what it is now um you might be thinking wow alpha you're doing well is this your wallet unfortunately not <laughs> i'm not doing that well um got a way to go to get to sort of like 0.6 billion dollars um wrapped up in DeFi. This is actually uh, the wallet of Olympus DAO. So what I've, you know, this is the wallet for the, uh, the, the multi-sig wallet uh, for uh, the, the Olympus DAO official treasury. So you can see here on Olympus DAO, the actual treasury here, which is apparently this much. Um, I, on through the discord, I found the address for the wallets and then I just, Put it in here. I just literally copied and pasted that address in here, gave it a, a name, Olympus, and then saved it on the platform so that I can track it later on. And so every day, whenever I want, I can come in here and I can I can track exactly what's going on with the Olympus DAO Treasury Wallet, right? And so I can see what they own in real time or close to real time, right? They've got some LUSD, they've got some Dai, they've got some Frax, they own some Spell, Convex, Curve quite nice, right? That's, that's really interesting information. See the price, the balance, the value. Okay, that's fairly simple. You can also see which liquidity pools they're in, right? Now for Olympus DAO, uh, that 0.6 billion, you can see that over most of that is in liquidity pools. And about half of that is in this one liquidity pool on SushiSwap, which is Ohm and Dai. And you can see the ratio here of these two investments. Now, that's really, really, really nice. I love this feature because on my own wallet, I can go in and if I'm providing liquidity in a, in a, in a pool, I can track in one place uh, exactly how much of each token is in that pool and the current value of those tokens. Now, this will change, right? This will change on an hourly basis. That's, that's one of the things. Now, it should be going up, right? Liqu providing liquidity and liquidity pool is usually a good thing. But, you know, you do need to keep track of things like impermanent loss. Uh, you do need to keep track of, like, exactly the ratio of these tokens as trades happen. And, you know, this is a really easy and nice way to do that. So you can immediately see what's going on in all of your pools. Yield farming, you can actually see, you know, when you've got um, a real rewards that are claimable, it's claimable uh, curve, claimable uh, convex, claimable sushi. So um, that's a way to track when rewards are available to you. Uh, and then you can, they break it down by platform and they can break it down by network as well, I think. But it seems to be that for Olympus DAO, everything is on Ethereum. They're not using any other networks for, for this wallet right now. It would also track NFTs. If there's any NFTs in here, they don't have any NFTs, but um, 
if they did, they, they would show up here. And then the history, the history here is kind of broken right now on, on Zapper. Uh, let me show you history on another, yeah, okay. So this is history on Zerion. And this is another wallet here that I'm tracking. This is not Olympus DAO. Um, this is actually, uh, I think this wallet here. Um, and this wallet has $1.3 billion in it. And this is one of the publicly doxed wallets for Vitalik Buterin, uh, co-founder of Ethereum. So here we can actually see, now that all I need is that wallet address. Right? Once I've got that wallet address for Vitalik, I put it in here and I save it. And now I can see what Vitalik's doing, right? Um, now, <laughs> actually, this isn't as useful as you'd think for Vitalik. It's kind of cool to know what's going on with Vitalik's wallets, but uh, Vitalik's not a trader. He's already made it. Right, he doesn't need to hustle, and this isn't even not his main wallet. Right, this is just like a, a small wallet for him, just a you know, just a casual 1.3 billion. No, it's kind of nothing really, right? Um, and because you can see he's basically not doing anything with this, with this wallet. Most of these transactions are people sending him tokens, like random people sending him tokens here. Like you can see, wow, wow, token, someone sent him. 30 billion YY tokens uh, on August 13th, right? He received it at 7.54 PM. And that's probably someone that he doesn't know trying to send him a token so that people look at it and, and start, you know, as a, as a form of marketing. Uh, but we can also see here, like this is a legit transaction, right? This is send, he's uh, on October 17th, Vitalik, I sent one ether to this address. Now, this address might be another wallet that he owns. It might be something else, I don't know. Uh, I have to go in there and, and see and, and, and work out what's going on by tracking this wallet. But you could see, you can imagine how useful this is if you were tracking the history of a wallet for a professional trader uh, for a venture capitalist in the in the blockchain ecosystem, uh, for a whale, uh, for someone who owned a lot of token that you were heavily invested in, uh, all of these scenarios, right? Someone that you felt was a smart, a smart savvy investor. So this is a way to track the smart money, right? You can track Vitalik, you can track Olympus DAO, you can track anyone as long as you know their wallet address. Now, like I said, for, for Olympus, you just I just went on the Discord and found that out. Um, another way would be to go in, use Etherscan and then look at a token that you're holding and then find the people who are holding the most of that token, right? The whales and look at the people who front ran, ran you on that investment. And then you can start to get an idea of, okay, I'm pretty sure this wallet is an insider. I'm going to now try, you know, so, okay, I'll put this in and start to track that wallet and see what they're doing and try and shadow some of their trades. I'm not going to tell you which wallets that I follow because I think, A, that's uh, a little bit uncomfortable in terms of privacy with doxing people. And then, B, also, I'm a little bit uncomfortable in terms of um, if you then followed those wallets and did trades and lost money, um, that, you know, I would be responsible for that. What I'm doing here is I'm not I'm not giving you a fish. Um, what I'm doing you is I'm what I'm doing with you is I'm teaching you how to fish, which is ultimately much more valuable. So rather than me giving you, you know, a list of wallets to track, um, you can actually go and do that yourself. And once you've used this tool, a tool like Zappa or Zerion or DBank, you know now how to track wallets. And then you can start to learn from what other people are doing. Um, this is a really important skill if you want to improve as an investor. But always do your own research. Never blindly follow people who are doing trades. Oh, you know, this, this famous guy is doing this trade. I'm going to ape in. Yeah, sometimes that might be the right thing to do. Um, but sometimes it might not be the right thing to do. So, yeah, just always bear that in mind of like, you've got to think for yourself with, with, with this stuff, right? But anyway, um, this is how I use these wallet, these tools on a, on a daily basis is to track my own portfolio and then have a brief look at what other people are doing, 
right? And I suggest you start to do the same if you're not already. It's really, really great tool. Uh, these history, history tabs are just fantastic, right? Much easier than looking at ether scan or RB scan or whatever. All right, let's stop it for this video. Hope you liked it. Uh, subscribe, uh, like. I've uh, got a Twitter now. You can follow the Twitter. That's in the notes. There'll be a Discord soon. Join the Discord when it's ready. Uh, hope you have a great day. Speak to you guys later.